Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen. If you clicked into this video and it's your first time meeting me, I make a lot of skincare, sometimes makeup, and vlog content regarding my family life. I'm a mom, I have a baby daughter. Actually, she's like now a toddler. And if you love makeup like me, if you love skincare like me, join the family, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm gonna be recreating this look. This is myself. I did this makeup look. I just have been like really been missing like these sit down chill makeup videos. So I really want to film one myself. I already have my skincare done from this morning. I am feeling a little bit on the drier side. There's no tackiness to it. So I'm going to actually start um, with applying a base. This is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Base. This is more like a serum and it's going to give your skin a really comfortable base to work with. You want it to be moisturized like this. Your skin products will sit really nicely on there. This is a soft glam look with that foundation. I have actually not been wearing foundation for years now, but I feel like I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I do wear a full coverage concealer. This one, the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape. I keep going back to it. I love it so much, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna prep my lips. And I got this from my Sephora Points. This is a brand I've never heard of when I was in the States. This is called Dear Dahlia, and I really like it. It's really, it's a really luxurious little lip balm. My darkest spots are under my eyes, so I always put it here first. And then around my nose, I have a lot of redness there and a little bit on my forehead because there's some redness there. Here we have a lot of darkness, so I'm going to go ahead and brighten that up and also my chin. If you guys have not noticed, this is just from one dollop of concealer. There is a trick to making sure that your base looks flawless. You want to make sure your beauty blender or sponge that you're blending everything out, there's no water dripping out. It is pretty much dry. I always start off with my chin. I feel like I've unlocked the secrets to having amazing base with that foundation in humid, hot ass weather. I've tried so many different types of concealer and I just keep coming back to this one because the coverage is so beautiful. I like to leave this on last because I like having a fuller coverage and I'm just blending it out with the sponge. Whatever is left on the sponge, I take it to the top of my lids and that kind of serves as a base to my lids. My eyeshadow sits a lot better on concealer. I like to brighten my under eyes even more because that concealer kind of matches my skin perfectly. I accidentally bought this in a much lighter shade than me. This is in fair light. I would say this is more of a medium coverage concealer, but it is so bright for me that I just put it here and I let it sit there for a little bit. This is more like a highlighting shade for me, so I let it sit for a little bit. And now what I'm gonna do is, this is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. If you have pale complexion like me, then Amber would work really well for you because Amber is actually, has a more of a grayish undertone. I am using the Lawless Foundation Brush to blend it out. It blends so beautifully into the skin. I just go in it with a circular motion like this. And when you're blending your contour, you wanna blend it upwards so that it lifts your face. Here, I'm not gonna drag it out. I'm really just gonna focus to the inner corner of my eyes because I really want to just brighten that area up. Look at that. It's so white. I, I can't believe I actually picked up the shade. I thought, I don't know why at the store I thought it was going to work for me, but it really doesn't. So this is the Pixi E03 brush. I just like it because it's very dense and precise, so I can really go in there and focus the contour. And I like to contour this area out and carve it out because it really narrows my nose down too. I think my base looks really nice right now. There's always one person that asks what contact lens I'm wearing. So these are the ones. Oh, Lens Town. This is their Lightly One Day Pastel. They're so beautiful. It doesn't really enlarge your pupils. It just has like a nice pink undertone to it, which makes like dark eyes look kind of brown. I'm obsessed with the ABH Brow Freeze. I'm kind of late to the bandwagon, actually. I know that thin brows is the trend of 2022, and I think I could kind of pull it off sometimes for certain looks, but 
I love a big fluffy brow. I don't have the actual spoolie because they're sold out in Hong Kong. I'm just going to take like a generous amount from here. Pretty good scoop. I've learned you have to take a lot of this product uh, in order for it to sit on my stiff Asian hair. I'm gonna start off from the front of my brows and we're gonna push the product upwards. Trust the process. It's going to look really crazy at first, but trust the process. It's going to look good after. And then next, I'm going to take the back of the spoolie. And I'm just going to press the brow hairs down. I'm going to take the spoolie again, and we're just going to shape the brow like that. Okay, this really lifted my brows up. Like, look at this, look at this eye versus this eye. Okay, we're not done though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other brow. Now I'm going to set, we're using the Laura Mercier powder to set. I, don't, I lost my Laura Mercier puff, so I'm actually using the NARS one. But if you are still using your beauty blender, like a damp one to apply your powder, stop doing that. This is literally the best way of doing it with a puff. Your skin looks airbrushed, it looks flawless. I like to take the excess and dust it off the back of the, the lid. I always start off with the center of my forehead because this I feel like has the most shine. And I also pat the brows down because it does have like kind of a shiny sheen to it since it is wax. So this is why I haven't powdered until now. And then again, I'm, gonna, I'm dipping it back into the powder right now. And we're gonna dust off the extra. This is how you avoid a cakey look, is by dusting off the extra. I'm gonna go ahead and start pressing it on the innermost corner of this crevice in your eye. And we're gonna push it out like that and go into the crevice of your nose too. This will really give you that like flawless finish. Can you guys tell how like mattified and smooth this side of my face is compared to this side? It's really, really beautiful. Don't powder your eyelids yet because you want that to be, have a creamy base to work your eyeshadows in. Your eyeshadows will stick a lot better when your lids are still a bit creamy for, from your concealer. Think of it as a base. If you powder it and you lock it up, um, your eyeshadow is not going to stick as well to your lids. Okay, we're not done with the brows. The brows still need a lot of love. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my NARS Brow Perfector. This is a brow pencil. There's a spoolie side, and then this is a twist up. I am in the shade medium brown cool, and now I'm just going to fill in the bottom of my brows. My brows are pretty dry now. It doesn't really have that like heavy waxy texture to it anymore. I think it helps by drawing a line at the bottom first, so that really shapes the brow. And then I'm gonna draw in strokes like this in an upward motion following the direction of my hairs that I laid them down with the brow freeze. I also extended the tail of my brow because my brows are really short. They just don't grow long, like with a beautiful long tail. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing to this brow now. I think I can make myself crazy trying to make my brows look identical. My brows are so different, like both of them are so different. When I last got them waxed, technician said that one brow is prettier than the other. This brow is prettier, she's better. She's struggling a little bit, so we're not gonna try to bring her up to speed. Wow, this brush is disgusting. I have not washed it in so long. Okay, this is my favorite brush right now. I can't do my makeup without this brush. This is a, she's looking really scraggly right now. I should love her more. This is the ABH brush that came into one of the palettes and I really like the fluffy end. We're going to be digging into my Natasha Denona palette. This is the Glam palette very well loved and dirty so the soft glam look is going to be pretty much matte so i'm just going to be using this crease shade right here first here to contour my eyes out i barely tapped the palette by the way this palette is super pigmented and i'm just going to drag it down the side of my nose to accentuate the nose contour a little bit more I have another one. This is a new one from ABH. It's not scraggly anymore. This is the one that I've loved using every day. And it's kind of sad looking, but this one looks brand new. 
we're gonna use the Pixi EO3. I used this earlier to blend out my nose contour. So we're gonna go into this color called Smoke. The trick of doing this look is to really find the natural crease where your eyeballs naturally dense into your face. I think that's okay. It looks crazy right now, but we're going to take concealer, our really good friend, and we're gonna carve out a line underneath it. I took a dab of the Tarte concealer, and put it on the back of my hand. With this Lime Crime brush, I have no idea what the name of this is. As you can see, it's super duper cute. I'm gonna just take a small amount of the concealer The key of doing this is to keep searching for that natural dip in your eyeball. Did I say in your eyeball? I meant on your eyeball. Okay, that's beautiful. Leah, look. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, this is the Luxie 213 eye shading brush. This is basically just a flat brush and it's perfect for packing on this transition shade. I'm taking this color right here. This is called, literally called transition. And we're just going to use a stamping packing motion and we're going to pack this shade on. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brush, which I have been using it for just dark brown colors. Um, this is to smoke out my eye. This is the Crown C511 brush. And I'm taking the color smoke from the palette, which is this one right here. That's the product to the outer corner of my eye, like right here. Lift my eye out and give it a cat eye. Using a makeup wipe, the pointiest point of my nails, I'm going to clean the ends right here. So we cut that up. It's beautiful, it's clean now. I'm using the Huda Beauty eyeliner. I love this eyeliner because of the precise tip. And I love, brush line stroke because it can be super thin and I think they're a little bit more forgiving than um, felt tip brush liners. I'm gonna try my best to explain how I do my eyeliner because a lot of you guys have been saying you love the way I do my eyeliner. I always look straight ahead when I do this. First draw a line like that from the corner of my upper crease. So I have really hooded lids. This is why I need to do this type of eyeliner. And then I relax my eyelids, connect it to the outer corner of my eyes like that. I'm just straightening everything up. Okay, so now I know how the outer corner of my eyeliner is gonna look like. I like to start off with the center of my eye first, like this, and connect it to the edge. And I'm really just lining the waterline with the felt tip liner the reason why i don't use oh shit i don't use a cream pencil for this because without a fail it always smudges throughout the day we're gonna fix that little mistake there it's so small but we're gonna fix that later i'm going to keep my eyes open this is really important that i keep my eyes open because this is how my eyes will naturally crease and now i'm going to fill it in See how I created a, a little sharp point right here? I'm gonna clean that up, but I'm not going to bring it connected like that. Like how normally people do it, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to smooth this sharp point out and leave the dip right there because that is how my eyes create a normal wing liner when I open it up. Okay, I'm noticing that there is like a little bit of a it's not straight here, so I have to go in and bring it down even more. When I put my eyeliner on, I always have it flat against the top of my eyelid so that it gives me the closest line to my lash line because I like to elongate my eye. Okay, so I made a tiny mistake. It's so small, but it's gonna bother me, and I'm just going to take a precision Q-tip, dip it into my concealer, just a little bit of it, and see how flat this becomes. Remember I said I love the ABH brush? That's because this end, I use it to contour my lower lids. It sounds kind of weird, but I'm gonna explain. 
So I like to take the crease shade here. This is a mixture of using American style makeup like this and then Asian style makeup. So I'm just um, accentuating my aerosol and this makes my eyes look bigger. So I'm gonna squeeze my eyes a little bit and where there is a natural contour right here, I'm going to run this brush right where there is a natural contour of the under eye. But look how that just made this eye look so much bigger. I used the crease shade right here and it's perfect for that. Next, I'm gonna take my brown liner. This is a gel liner by Cyber Colors. I'm gonna start off with tight lining the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna stop in the middle right here. And from the middle point forward, I am taking the liner on my skin and I'm not bringing it up right here. I'm not closing it up. I'm actually dragging the liner outwards in a straight line and tapering it. So it's like a little sh sharp taper at the end like that. What this does is it opens up my eye even more. Take a look at this eye versus this eye. I haven't done any highlighting of the eye. These tricks alone really makes one eye bigger than the other. Next up, I'm gonna pop on these lashes. These are Korean lashes. These are made in Korea. I actually can't read any of this, but I found this in the Argyle Center in Mong Kok, this one little stall, and I've been obsessed with these lashes. You guys can take a look at them and try to find like a dupe of them. They're not a cat eye shape at all. They're actually just like perfectly even, but they have like sh long individual like sharp lashes and I love how this looks on my eye. Mascara, I'm using Roller Lash. I've been loving this one from Benefit. It is so good for tiny Asian lashes. I also don't know what glue this is. I also got this from the same store, but I really like this glue. This is a Korean glue with the brand Darkness. I'm going to apply the glue to my lash line first because I found that doing so makes the lashes apply a lot easier. So we're gonna let that dry a couple minutes. Okay, the trick to doing applying your lashes is to have the mirror beneath you. You can look down and apply. Taking roller lash again and I'm applying the applying the uh, <laughs> roller lash and I'm applying it to my lower lash line. I'm doing a swiping motion because this is the best way for me to get the tiny lashes on my lower lash line. We're looking really good on this eye. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye now. Okay, you guys, I am going to try this viral trend on Douyin right now. And I'm gonna do a real situation so you guys can watch me do it too. Wow, I actually like, really like this. This placement is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. The blush is actually so pretty doing it like this. I use the Makeup Forever lipstick. This is in the color um, 108 Striking Spice. And I think this looks really beautiful. I just haven't applied my lipstick yet. Blurred out with the brush. I'm still making a reels right now. Taking Dominique Cosmetics. This color is beautiful. This is Nude Cocoa. This is crazy, I'm doing so much. You know what, I'm gonna set my blush real quick. This is the Dragon Beauty Face Palette. I've been going crazy with the blushes. I love these blushes so much. I had so much fun creating this look. If you guys if you guys like this makeup tutorial, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think this look turned out so beautifully and I actually have a dinner to run to so I didn't get ready for nothing today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and catch up with my latest video. I uploaded a vlog and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, love you.